What's up, up everybody? This is Josh Cunningham from Cunningham Cichlids back with another video. This is a species profile on my Exochromus anagenes group. So I have currently my ratio is two males and six females. These guys are housed in a 150. So it's a six foot by two foot tank. It's filtered by a couple sponge filters and I also have two Tidal 110s running on the tank. This group is just really starting to hit their stride. As you'll see in the video, there's three females holding and I've also have three batches of fry um, that I'm grow growing up right now um, from previous spawns. So this group is a, it's a fun fish, um, fun African cichlid to work with. Not one commonly bred by hobbyists because you need such a large tank to keep this fish in. Um, the Exochromus anagenes it's elongated, large, predatory cichlid from Lake Malawi. So it was discovered fairly recent in 1989 by Oliver. So Often referred, this fish is off, the Exochromus is often referred to as a three-spot torpedo, and the description fit is fitting given, given the three spots you'll see on some of the the female in my tank and also the the subdominant male, which doesn't have any, uh, it's not colored up at all in the tank. You'll see my dominant male. The three spots are hidden. He's got bluish face and yellowish body, so you don't see those um, displayed as much because he's in breeding dress and he's obviously. King of the tank pretty much right now. Chromus anagenes is one of the three predatory species that's particularly found in the sediment sediment free rocky habitat. Um, the other piscivorous predators that the Exochromus anagenes is found with is the Trinochromus negroventor and the Aristochromus christii. Um, watching if you ever go dive in Malawi, I know some people have, um, that's one of my dreams to be able to go do that. But I guess to see to see the Exochromus cruise through the rocky habitat is a striking sight. Unlike other predators in the group, this, the Exochromus swim at a high speed through the habitat, usually about a meter above the rocks. And every now and then it stops and tilts its body to go hunt Mabuna. The maximum size is about 30 centimeters for this fish. Um, as I mentioned before and you see in the video, the males have a blue breeding coloration. Females and non-breeding males in the northern half of the lake are yellow with three spots. While in the southern part, they're more of a silvery color with uh, three spots. And the, and the mouth, <clears throat> so the mouth is a beak-like shape. It's laterally compressed. It's rem... So the mouth on the Exochromus is similar to the mouth on the Aristochromus christii um, with the beak and the shape of, of what it shows. So just thought I'd show you a quick video again of my group. Um, these guys are, I really like, really liking these guys. I'd like to get some more, uh, another male and a couple more females to add, but it's hard to find them at uh, the seven, eight inch size, six and a half inch size that I would like to pick them up at to, to add to my group. So... I will have fry in the future though, so um, if you're interested, keep check back at my website, CunninghamCichlids.com, and you can always message me on Facebook, Cunningham Cichlids on my page, or I'm also on Instagram and Twitter at, under Cunningham Cichlids. So just want to say thanks for watching. Appreciate everybody tuning in to check out my species profile on my Exochromus anagenes group, and until uh, the next time.